the arms. Wrap the yarn around your knit finger, and then bring it up to index finger. Pinch the yarn tail with your thumb and mid finger. Work into a magic ring. Make loop around your mid finger, and pinch the crossover of the yarn. Insert hook into the loop on mid finger. Yarn hook and the pluff loop. A magic ring is formed on the mid finger. In round one, start with one chain stitch, then work six and crochets. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Yarn hook, and pull the yarn through the loop and hook. That's a chain stitch. The chain stitch at the beginning is to raise height and will not be counted into the number of stitches. Then work six and crochets. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook, and pull up loop through the ring. There are two loops on the hook now. Then yarn the hook, and pull through both loops on the hook. That's a single crochet. Such a V shape on the side stands for one single crochet. Place a marker in the first stitch. Through the underneath of both loops of the V shape. Mark the first stitch of every round. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook, and pull up loop. Then yarn hook. And pull through both loops and hook. The second single crochet is done. Insert hook into the magic ring. Yarn hook and pull up loop. Then yarn hook. And pull through both loops on the hook. Okay, the third single crochet is done. There are three V shapes, which stand for three single crochets. Continue to work three more single crochets in the same way. Six V shapes on the side stand for six single crochets. The loop and hook is not counted as one stitch. Six single crochets are done. Pull the yarn tail tight to close the ring. Finally, work one slip stitch in the marker stitch through both loops of the V shape. Remove the marker. Insert the hook into the marker stitch through both loops. Yarn hook and pull up loop. There are two loops on the hook now. 
then pull the first loop through the Renting Loop Pant Hook. OK, that's one snip stage. The snip stage serves as a collection. It is not counted into the number of stitches. Round 1 is done. Pay attention to the yarn's tightness during crocheting. If it's too tight, we can't insert the hook easily. If it's too loose, the fabric will be out of shape. In round 2, start with one chain stitch, and then work set off once in crochet when crease for 3 times. Finally, end with one slip stitch. Work one chain stitch first. Work once in crochet. Mark the first stitch. Next, work one increase. We need to work two single crochets in the next stitch. Work one single crochet and one increase as one set. Keep working two more sets. The second set. Work one single crochet. Next, work one increase, which means working two single crochets in the same stitch. The third set, work one single crochet. Next, work one increase, namely, work two single crochets in one stitch. Three sets are done. Work one snip stitch in the first stitch. Round two is done. The stitches for rounds three to eleven are all the same. In rounds three to eleven, work one chain stitch, nine single crochets, and finally one snip stitch for each round. We'll demonstrate round three. Work one chain stitch first. Then work one single crochet in each stitch. There will be nine single crochets in total. Remember to mark the first stitch as usual. Keep working in the same way. Nine single crochets are done. Work one snip stitch in the first stitch. Round three is done. Please finish rounds four to eleven by yourself. Work one chain stitch, nine single crochets, and finally one snip stitch for each round. Round eleven is done. Break yarn leaving a long yarn tail for sewing. Yarn tail round hook, and pull the yarn tail out. One arm is completed. Please crochet the other arm in the same way.